New federal rules allowing more people to donate at a time when the Red Cross warns of a blood shortage. Thank you for joining us for News 10 at 530. I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. This week's change earning praise from LGBTQ groups who say it'll lead to a more inclusive donation process. News 10's Mars Anderson joins us now in the newsroom to share what led to this change. Mars? David and Ann, the new rules allow gay and bisexual men to potentially donate blood. Eligibility questions for blood donation now focus on risk factors instead of sexual orientation. Groups who have been pushing for the change say the FDA guidelines are backed by science over stigma. An historic change made by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, eliminating a 40-year restriction on blood donation for some gay and bisexual men. The, the new eligibility is based on a person's um, uh, individual risk factors, not their uh, gender orientation, not their sexual orientation. And that's a good thing, right? David Olajars is with the American Red Cross. The agency is the top blood donation organization in the country, but it is only following federal guidelines. Red Cross and other blood collection organizations cannot make any changes unilaterally to what that criteria is. Sarah Warbelow of the Human Rights Campaign says advocacy played a role in the policy change, but the new study into the safety of blood donations was the biggest factor. Um, that stigma kept being perpetuated over and over again, um, and folks were unwilling to come to the table and look at it through a true science perspective, as well as a human rights and human dignity perspective. Olajar says the Red Cross is now looking toward the future. I realize that the previous policy um, caused her among um, gay men and bisexual men. And we see this as opportunity moving forward to repair that relationship with the broader LGBTQ plus community. Um, right now we have a shortage um, of, of blood in this country. Um, and you know we wanna encourage any eligible individual to go and donate blood, but that doesn't mean um, that that stigma and that discrimination um, is gonna disappear overnight. Gay men currently taking medication to prevent HIV remain unable to donate blood, but the Human Rights Campaign is encouraging the FDA to find a solution to increase their eligibility as well. In the newsroom, Mars Anderson, News 10. All right, Mars, thank you. Now, if you're looking to determine your eligibility or schedule an appointment to donate blood, head over to redcrossblood.org.